Hi, this is Rob from the Weaver Space, and today I'm going to show you how to easily integrate our email stacks with a product called Direct Mail. You can see on the screen there, there's a URL to find out more information about Direct Mail. Direct Mail is a mail sending application that you can use to send out lots of emails to. Um, I'm not going to show you how to use that app other than importing the code from the mail stacks into it. If you need more information, go to that URL. They have lots of good information about their product there. So once you make your email, um, and I'm not going to go through how to make an email today. That's We have many other videos and, and stuff on how to do that. I am just going to show you how to get the code from it. So I just decided to use the Newsletter 1 template. The only thing different I added from the template is I changed this to a warehouse image from the placeholder image. Added a link to an image of an airplane, and this can be an airline newsletter or something like that. That's all what I'm going for. Um, I'm going to preview this real quick so you can see what it looks like. This is what the email would look like when it got sent to somebody. has an image, some formatted text here, um, two paragraphs, two columns with links, and then another paragraph at the bottom with an unsubscribe link at the bottom. Okay. Now, you can't just save it this way and import it into direct mail. Direct mail needs to use an HTML file, and here's how you can make one. So let's go back into the edit mode. You need to add the inliner stack here. It's the only green colored stack that comes with the email stacks. The other ones are purple and blue. Add that to your page and preview the page again. And you will see now a difference. You'll still see the email up above, but in front of that are two different types of emails. Now there's a text email and there's an inline email. The text email is just a plain text email. There's no image in it. There is some formatting. Um, of some text, like making it bigger and bolder, the, these um, hashtag symbols, uh, this is Markdown, will make this a header four, okay? But it also has links, but that's it. It's just plain text. It's, it's nothing too spectacular. The inlined email, on the other hand, has everything else you need to make your emails look like this, okay? So first thing you need to do is copy this information to the clipboard. You want the inline email. Don't worry about the text email. Okay. Once you do that, now you want to put it into a text editor. In fact, you want to put it into a plain text editor. Macintosh makes one, um, or Apple makes one for Mac. It's called um, text edit, but that will save it if you don't make some changes as a rich text and you want plain text. I prefer to use a product called Sublime Text. There's another one called Text Wrangler, but any plain text editor will work just fine. I'm going to open up Sublime Text though. Um, here's my basic empty page. I'm going to paste in that code, and it is a quite amount of code. Lots of different things to worry about in there, but all the code is there. Now you're well, now what we have to do is you have to save this as an HTML file. So I'm going to save it. I have a little folder here called Email. And you can save it whatever you want. Um, let's say you're going to do a monthly newsletter. You could save this as uh, April2018.html. Okay, and then every month you just make a different one. Um, May 2018 HTML, so on. So I'll just call this April 2018 HTML. Click on save. Now it's saved. Now we need to get into the direct mail app. So I'm going to pull that up. I already have one started. Um, when you first start the, the app, it'll ask what you want to call this. I called it test and saved it. Um, it will then bring you to this window. And you can go ahead and start making up your own email if you want, but we already have the code for something, so we need to import that. There's a little button up here called import. And if I click on that, it'll ask where is your file. And it's looking for an HTML file. So I have the April 2018 HTML, and I'm going to open that. And once I do... It'll load that in the page, and there's my email. Looks exactly like the Rapid Weaver one. In fact, let's get out of here and delete the inliner stack. Go back and look at it. There is Rapid Weaver, and there is Direct Mail. Now, what you need to do to finish this is, is what you need to know about the Direct Mail app is fill out all the rest of the information. Uh, you can learn more about that again on their website. Uh, this is not a tutorial about Direct Mail just how to import the code from the email stacks into uh, a product like direct mail. So I hope you found this uh, a very learning experience. I hope you get some good information on how to use the email stacks with a, a, the app called direct mail. Um, 
Hope it's been a good learning experience, and we hope you make some great uh, emails. Thanks. Have a great day.